Okay, everything looks in order. Everything looks good. It's good to hear you're doing good, Lavos. Good to see that you're in uh, full health, even after all our battles. So, we gotta get into this. We have to play the game and conquer some more of Forcina. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I have my plan set. I don't know if everybody got to see it last time, but I'm definitely going to go and attack the country to my west. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a little tough. I know I had this suggested before to take some medium characters, but I really feel like I need some range here. Bagdamagus isn't all that good at range. She's going to be kind of a healer. I've only really got these two things for long range. And... Uh, good breath attack here and a good breath attack there so this could be a tough fight and you're as fine as a frog's hair that is a very very fine fine thing I have to say that much thank you thank you both for being here and everybody else is here too thanks everybody for being here that's really cool so let's go ahead and do that the Empire reposition so there's nothing here to fit there's nothing here to uh, attack me I think he went back here Okay, one of them did. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We get to go here, we get to do this sort of stuff, and let's go ahead and do it. The Omeki has invaded Alrheim. I think... Really? I thought they would win that one. I thought Cole had what it took to, to win that place, so... Alright, so Escalio, we're going to come in here, we're going to crush them all, and we're going to have a good time at it. Or at least I think so. <laughs> I hope so. They've got a good mage team here, so uh, I'm going to have to definitely be on my toes, that's for sure. I think, it's, I think the way this composition looks, unless I can get a good strike on maybe Sierra or Janfeder, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of monster strikes. I don't think Kai is going to run out to the middle and let me pound him into the dust, so... 
Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, Zerafin was a handful, apparently. Zerafin and Elaine. That's another combination I rarely use, but that could be pretty good, I would say. Elaine's really good. You level her up, she's got great potential, obviously. Really good potential. I know, it is all three mages. Well, at least it's not Lakara here, too. So that would, that's a little bit of a boon, but still Sierra and Jamfar are pretty formidable. You know, so I gotta be careful of some shenanigans here. If they don't if they don't position themselves in a good strategic fa you know, fashion, I could definitely take advantage of this. So that's the plan. I wanted to bring in some heavier tanks so I didn't have to tank this my front line by myself too much. Because Dinadan, as you've seen in the last episode, is turning into a handful. He is Dinadan is such a badass. I mean he's a well, he's actually a good ass. Is that a is that a way you can say it? Dinadan is a good ass? I don't know if I should even be saying that. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can put certain things on YouTube. Well, yeah, well maybe that actually can go on YouTube. I don't know. We'll find out later in the <laughs> closed captions, because I actually read that sometimes to see what you can and you can't put on there. <laughs> Dinadan is is one of my favorite guys though, so I don't know. May look like I'm making fun of him, but I'm not. I'm just he's he's a great character, he's a he's a really strong knight, and I kind of forgot how powerful he was here. Because in Grand Edition, he doesn't seem to be as powerful as he is here. Because, especially with that 140 defense, that really changes some things. At least in my opinion, it really does change a few things there. So, yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with that. Xerophon actually outdoes Kirkman and possibly Morholt. Really? I never really tried to, like, see the differences between the three of them. I know they're just good, you know? But the thing is, for, like, Norgard, I never focused on that all that much. Because Norgard is mostly, you know, the land of wolves and tigers, so it's all, like, you know, brute strength. So I'd focus on uh, Paul Mighty's, I'd focus on Wintel, you know, that sort of thing. That's kind of what I focused on most of the time. And uh, with Vinard having some magic properties to him, it's like, well, you know, I can just go out there and tank it with either Dillard, Ector, uh, Paul Mighty's, uh, Luintil, and just kind of roundhouse most of that stuff to death. Because that's kind of what most of the build is. I mean, you get some mages in there too, which are pretty decent potential. So it's kind of a hint. That's kind of a mix. I don't know, like, Norgard's potentiality as far as types of mages comparatively. I know Carolion probably has the best overall, but Nuomeki's got some really good stuff with Carlotta. Ophelia can be a good build. She can actually kind of cross-class into some other good stuff that she could be really good at. Like, you could turn her into a scout, you know, and she's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's always some good conversations you can have with that, too, you know? Always good convo. So, I'm going to try to split up a little bit. I'm actually going to try to pull them out to me. I think one right there is a good option, you know? So, what are you saying? G has... G is somehow Mr. BS and less BS at the same time. I love the fact of Grand Edition having the uh, paper, rock, scissors. That part is, um, <clears throat> is phenomenal. And if you know how to work it, it's really good. So, basically... One color does beat the other, but it still works the same way on defense here. So with defense here, with defense here especially, um, so, so like red cancels out red. So red's like minus 20%, minus 30%, minus 40% and all that stuff. But, uh, hey, how you doing, uh, Zake Fancy? How you doing, dude? They don't have the stats to be hyped. Let me see. What's that correlating to? I didn't get to read everything there. Um, 
lot of good casters, the other casters tend to be lower level, and that's why I think Zeref and Elaine and Noi get super overlooked. Now I do level up Noi. Oh hey Jordan, how you doing, buddy? It's been a it's been a hot minute since I've seen you, dude, so thanks for jumping back in here. Everybody's got all different kinds of names now. I used to do that too. I used to have all different kinds of uh, names for different channels and stuff. And uh, I think because I'm doing a lot of YouTube now, I just kind of like funneled it down to one name. <laughs> so I totally get it. But uh, yeah, the blue, red to green triangle is a lot better. I, it I really do believe that. You know, my heart of hearts, I really do believe that's a very good way to, to build the game because it gives more options but I think the way they they had the the defense here set up with it getting stronger and some of this the way they stuff they had here I mean you could say it's overpowered but it just feels good I don't know why it just feels good it feels good to me you know let's get this over here uh, you know if they're going to well, I can't leave her completely alone Okay, so all right, so let's let's finish that up. That's good. We'll leave it like that. Bagdamagus definitely needs to be in a fight, you know. Um, we have to get this thing out here, so I might pull back this dude, and this guy's gonna come over this side. He's gonna replace a few things. I think we'll bring out the rock in case I need him. So let's just pull him back there. All right. Magdamagus, uh, yeah, you can just stay right there, that's fine. Alright, cool. But, uh, you only use the one, it's just easier, I change back parts sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that before. In the past, I had all different kinds of names. <laughs> you know, for so many different profiles, you know, sites and all that. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks, okay. This is going to be a little harder, because I could possibly lose this rock, and that's not going to be a good thing. Well, I could probably cleanse it and get it back. Probably I'm just going to stick to a cleanse, pull it back, and then they'll be able to probably come forward, so that's probably what I'm going to have to do, you know? So what's your day like, Jordan? And how you doing, Lavos? I don't know if I asked you that earlier, but I think I did. The Para? I always keep Akuna at this point. Yeah, yeah, it just gets to be you after a while. You just kind of like to do it like that. You got out of clinic life? Were you the one, did you tell me in the past, because it's been a long time since you, since I've been able to talk to you, were you doing stuff with uh, a doctorate? Were you in school for that, or? You know, it's actually even better. I could pull back, cleanse, do my paralyzer, and I might be able to kill her right now. With three of these characters? It's, it's very likely, yeah. You still have KFC? Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're the one always telling me about KFC. <laughs> I remember you now. <laughs> Spicy chicken phoenixes. Well, that would be... Um, KCP. I guess you can't say that, because then nobody would really understand, so I guess you have to say KFC still, right? Alright, so... I could definitely get a kill on her right now. And I don't see why I shouldn't. I want to push through, and I want to get some wins going here, so... I'd be wasting my time if I just didn't try. paralyzed. 
Alright, let's do a cure here. Please make spicy chicken phoenixes. Yes. Kentucky fried phoenixes. Oh, and I can only go that far. Well, I'd have to get kind of a luck shot here. I think Kai can only uh, heal her from here, so he'd have to stay back on defense if that was the case. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what comes about. You know the funniest thing? Is that Valkos had practically the exact same identical battles that I had the other day when he played it. I was like, what? He's got the exact same battle? He went into Carnaboon and then he got attacked on Aston. I was like, what? There's no way. And he only had like a difference of defense on Carnaboon by like a couple knights that he had to defend with, or that were defending. She's kind of strong. Okay. I might still get her though, I'm not too positive. But I might be able to, I've got a spear throw, which could, you know, finish things up here. But yeah, for everybody that's new here, if you want to subscribe, like, and follow me, you can. You know, that would actually help me out. If you do like it, you know, definitely give it a like. So, also, um, Jordan, there's challenges back, so I don't know if you knew about that, but I think I have it listed down below. If I don't, then I'm going to put it down there, but I've got challenges going again, so... If you want to offer me a reasonable challenge, I will probably try it. If I can't try it or if I don't, if I can't work it, I'll list the challenges I couldn't try that were offered, and I'll list the challenges I could complete. So it's going to be another challenge mod, but everybody gets one challenge to give me until I complete it, and uh, after that, then I guess I could take another challenge. didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. Oh, plus also, if you want to um, help me with my um, with some of the donations, the tips up there to help me get the green screen and stuff, uh, you can go to Streamlabs and uh, tip me there. And if you want a monster named after you, or something to that degree. I can definitely do it. So yeah, Kai stayed there. He stayed on... Uh, he's going to stay on healing duty for a while. Because if I keep the pressure up, he'll probably just stay there. finally get a boon. <laughs> this is good. This is good. He has no cleanse. He has no cleanse for anything, so he's not going to do too hot, you know? Thanks, Kuna. Were you helping me out with the stone there? Were you giving me some, uh, some psyche power there to help with that stone? Because... I wasn't sure I was going to get any good luck here. Okay, so I cannot holy word. I could throw a spear and then still try again. Which probably is the best thing to do. This might be the best thing to do. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, this is a good this is a good thing. She could stay there and I could probably wipe the floor with her next. Did you just really <clears throat> stand right there, dude? You did. Okay then. Well, sorry, Janfter, but um <laughs> I gotta bring down the hammer here. Bringing down the hammer. He'll do like 20, probably. 22. Yeah, it's about that much. Okay, let's sink into position and we shall have ourselves a field day. I think here is pretty good. Let's get a little free shot on the gin here. So what do you think, Kakuna? Do you think I'll possibly get your challenge done soon? Because if I get a decent uh, defensive team, I might go after Carolyon. I don't seem to have a reason not to. Magus, can we swing around? Alright, there's not much I can do that side. I can bring you up here, but there's no more... I can't go any further. Nope. Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna swing around. We're gonna go after Janfeder and Sierra. wonder what kind of team I want to actually have here. Because Bagdamagus could be good with Iria, just with that um, dualistic approach that I could take with that. Alright, let us... Uh, he could extra blast my Hydra, which could put a damper on things, but... What's at most? What, what's at risk the most? I'm guessing. Well, Iria could get hit by a bunch of magic right now. But a lot of things could get hit. I'm at risk in a lot of different ways. She's still pretty high on the hit point scale. This team isn't quite so much. Okay. Well, um. I don't think anybody technically needs it quite so bad, but I guess I could give it to the demon just in case. There's... Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Just like that. So let's go ahead and do that. We might be able to scare him away. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if I get a crit, I might just be able to one-shot this little dude. Ho ho ho! Oh yes. Sorry, Janfter. Your time has come. You were excellent. Thank you. I believe in myself too. Alright, let's uh. 20 something. Well, this could possibly be an easy push if I just knock out leaders left and right. That was pretty cool. <sighs> 
So, have you actually tasted a Kentucky Fried Phoenix, Jordan? Let me know if you have. I'm guessing it would be like the fiery kind of spice, maybe? Might be a little fiery. Yeah, have you ever tried it? Alright, they got an angel here. Ulster, Ulster, Ulster. Can we get you a kill, Ulster? I don't think it's possible. Whose turn is it? 13, and then I'm 20, so Kai will go first, so he's going to get away with this. I can't do much more. I really can't do much more here, so he's just going to get away with some stuff, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. Okay, that's 220. We'll see if we can get the bird in around. The, the bird might be able to do something there. Yep, I think I can get a rock kill here. But I have to move Ulster up. I can't leave him back. Alright, so Hakuna, yeah, I am still working on your challenge, actually, so... Don't you worry! Don't you worry about a thing. Uh... Let's see, that's both white attacking a white. I don't want him any lower, though. But I do want to do this. Level five, good. Well, this is great. This turned out to be an easier fight than I thought it was gonna be. That's nice. I struggled so much that first defense, you know. That was a toughie. Dinadan was pushing in so hard, and the next time I have to fight him, oh man, it's gonna be tough. Is it ever? <laughs> So what is it, from the beginning of the start of the game? Is that what you're going to count? Because I think I started at uh, 2.15.4 or 2.15.2? I don't know, it's only been like um, the first time I burned a couple months doing the attack and then I had the defense and now I'm going into another attack. So I think I only went through like three months, possibly. Okay, Teeth, what are we going to get? What are we going to get, buddy? Aww. Can't pull it out. We're in debt again this month. Half of it is due to King Driss spending too much money on pleasure. It's such a headache. What happened? What's with all the blood? Are you going to be okay? What's that in the big bag you're carrying? Where's King Drist? He's on the top floor. You need to get your wound treated first. No. Wait! Your Majesty, I have returned. I have this. Huh? Oh, Iria. He's drinking again? 
He's drinking during the day again? Wow, is that the, bird, the head of a cannibal bird? That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Just leave it somewhere around there. Also, tell Hula to change the feathers in my hat, okay? Hat, your majesty. You didn't just send Iria to the Valley of Death just for feathers, did you? That's right. Excuse me? I sent her to get the feathers. What? Your majesty, Iria is a very important knight for our country, and you sent her to such a dangerous place only for feathers? Ulster, are you questioning me? Who gave you the authority? Uh, but you're wrong about Iria. She is not a knight for the country of Ascali. She is my knight, my own knight. I can do whatever I want with her. Isn't this right, Iria? Yes, sir. That's insane. She got away with some injuries, but she could have been killed. Are you blind? The blood on Iria is not hers. Huh? Really? Escalio does not have weaklings that can be killed by birds. If they die, so be it. What? Get out of here. Looking at that weird hat you're wearing is making me sick. Haha, <laughs> weird hat, huh? Uh, it really looks weird. Excuse me. Excuse me. But I don't understand what's on his mind. Why does he always give you those dangerous orders? Doesn't that bother you, Iria? Orders from our lord are absolute. Indeed. But well, what if it gets you killed? That's okay with me. Officer Iria. Calendar went from two... Went to... Yeah, yeah, I meant until the calendar went to 216. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've only got six more months to do this. That's one, two, three, four. That's four months. I gotta do this each month in a row successfully. That's gonna be hard, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be hard, maybe impossible. If they attack me one time, or two, if they attack me more than two times and I can't successfully hit them over and over again, that's that. Oh, man. All right, dude. Well, I guess we are pushing into Carolion then, because that's the only foothold I've got. Oh, man. It's going to be tight. Tight, tight, tight. The only way to do it is to give up Escalio. Because I'm going to need my best knights to go after him. Hardcore. That's that's definitely a thing. All right, let's let's organize some stuff here. Okay, so I've got 15 more here. I've got. That's it. That is it. Give me some tough challenges here, Hakuna. Very very tough. Get anything though? No. I can only equip one piece of equipment too, so that's that's kinda hard. Okay, how far do we gotta go? Two more levels, so good level in a in a quarter. And uh what else? What else? So that's all I can do there. Seeing as how there's nothing seriously down here. Oh man, they're going to attack that with the Empire's team, I think. They might leave it alone, though. So I'm trying to figure this out, because I think the Empire might come over here in force. And then my defensive team's going to be suffering a little bit. I'd rather have a stronger team here. But then there's also... There's also Leoness here. But she doesn't really have a great team. She might flip to have a better team because I've got Driss team here now, though. But we'll see. You know, to try to flip some things around. I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I think I need to move... 
I'm gonna need to move Drist over here eventually, that's for sure. But only once I get into Baynock is that gonna be all that important. So let's move him over here. Let's start that up. And uh, yeah, that should be good. I'm definitely gonna need Hula on my team. Let's figure out a good defensive port here. Good defensive team. Shootlius. Gallo. And where's Victoria? I'm gonna probably need Victoria. Alright, what do you have that's coming in here? It's still pretty tough you have here. Soliel is here. That's the problem. I might not get him to fight for me if that's the case. Okay, so... Miguel is going to need some stuff. Once I get back some knights... So what do we need for him? I'm a little lost as to what to do here. This is, uh... Let's recalibrate a little bit here. I think I'm going to... This up here. This gives me 15 points. There. That's 155, that's the same. I could do this if I could get a 20 pointer, then I could put all that down here. And that'll finish that part up. Which I do have the option to, so let's get that. Wait, wait, wait. I think... Is Daffy on quest still? Oh, Daffy's on quest still, that's right. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get this. Then I gotta figure out a team for here, which is gonna be really tough actually. This team's not gonna look too hot. A centaur and a gin and a giant. Okay, 170. Should I go with all centaurs, though? Let's see, Gallo, Julius, and that. So, this guy's kind of a frontliner. These guys are kind of backliners for now. I've got a little bit of range. I probably need a mix here. I think that's what I need, right? Now oh, what am I doing? I gotta go summon. Alright, we'll summon some of this up, get them in there, and we'll be good. So if I get two centaurs at 70, and this is 130. And then that'll be good. Oh, I'm running low. I am running low. I'm at a plus 764, that's good. Gotta make sure I'm not under, you know, under the level there. 
That's 40, that is two scorpions, but a djinn would probably be a better fit here. That's what I would say. Okay, this is a dangerously weak team. I'll have to figure out how else to work this. I'd almost want to have Victoria there, but with the way the current situation is, and with trying to complete that challenge, I'm going to have to keep pushing with this team, and I'm going to have to push very hard. So as soon as I get in here next time, I'm going to have to push again, and then I'm going to have to have Drist on defense, and then I'm going to have to do a dual attack to take them out. So that's the best way to try this out, and hopefully it all works out, pans out the right way. If it doesn't, well, Hakuna, I don't think I'll get to meet your challenge if it doesn't work. So, I will give it a try. Okay, so we're going to Zanass. Pervery has these guys. Aston has these guys. Still on quest. I will probably need Victoria or Lucia. Once Lucia comes back, uh, Daffy could be a good... Daffy would be good on defense here, so I'll probably replace him with whoever could be, you know, shut down. Just due to dialogue and stuff. Okay, let's do that. Alright, looks good. We gotta go. I gotta go, Hakuna. You are making me race against time here. It's gonna be month seven by the time I finish this. And this is gonna be enjoyable. Because he has an, a huge onslaught of monsters and leaders here, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, let's save her up. Whew. Tough, tough, tough. So how do you play this, Akuna? Do you basically give up your whole territory and run in there? Is that what your is that what your usual plan is? It's not a bad plan. Iskara's Empire has invaded Camelford. Uh oh. Yulmechia is uh, not gonna look too good here. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna look scary. Good. I got in there. I got in there. Winning the battle is going to be the hard part. We shall see. This looks uh, insane. Okay, let's get banned. Let's get wounded. <laughs> Back to Magus, you might actually have to lead a little bit of this. <clears throat> We're gonna have to hope to get some. Probably a kill on Dindadan again. That's probably the case. looks really tough. Really tough. Alright, come on down, little demons. Might have to sacrifice them to get the win here. Unfortunately, could be the case. I'm probably going to have to sacrifice a good amount of stuff to get the win here. 
Let's just hope that a good leader or monster comes in and I can trap him effectively. Okay, turn three. Alright, I think I have an idea here. I'm going to try to trap Dinadan, if at all possible. I'm going to try that. doesn't have a lot of flyers or anything, but he could definitely come up one way or the other. And we'd have ourselves a little bit of a duel. Try to get around here. see if this happens. Get dragons down and in, in, up inside here. <laughs> Good. This is good. Yeah, go ahead, protect Kai. I don't care. Not important to me. Uh, okay. Alright, so I think the rock bird should probably go up here. And then I could pull him into me in that manner. Yeah. That's probably the way to do it. Alright, let's end that. Uh, big man. We can go in the forest a little bit here, buddy. Yeah, on second thought, I'm probably going to have to pull him down so I can get, get him into the water. Get him close by the water so I don't have everything out of the blue. Wait right there. Yeah, that could be a good spot. Let's go with that. Could be pretty good. Let's try that out. Oh, he's not moving all the way in. He's staying back. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do here. Alright, well... Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, got the miss, that's good. That's pretty good. Little merman, where are you gonna go? Nope, not even going to attack. Oh. They've got great position here, too. Not falling for it. Not falling for it. 
Yeah, this, this setup with uh, LOF definitely thinks a lot better as far as strategy is concerned. That's for sure. They really do. Which is pretty good, but makes it a little bit harder. That was a good hit. That was definitely a good hit. Gyms here. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Mm. Tough went up to impossible now. I cannot win up I cannot win a fight straight up with them now. Not not likely. Let's throw some spears. Try to whittle down their army. It might be the best opportunity. Okay, that works pretty good. Alright. Hey Frost, how you doing, dude? How are things going, buddy? I'm gonna try, man. I'm really gonna give it a try. <laughs> it looks a little dire here because I'm taking on Dinadan as best. He just put Protect on, so he's at like 170 defense. And uh, he didn't even use Holy Word yet, so. Kai's at full magic. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, this ain't looking great. <laughs> it's looking a little scary. Uh, should I curse this thing and get it out of the way, or should I just do a couple poison spells and kind of weaken everybody. I don't know. I almost think I should come forward here so I can get a little more range. Because I'm not really getting a lot of range out there. Alright, how many curse spells do I have? Probably going to need a bunch of them, but this could be a good bag to Magus kill. This could help me level up here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and save it for that. Let's do a Venom for either dragon, really. Whichever one looks like it's going to be easier to kill. Probably you. But you're having a totally miserable internet. Hopefully you're not having a miserable day at work, too, man. Let's hope for that. Hey, we got purple candies. That's good. Well, here it's pink, but... I'm used to calling it purple candies. Let's just go with purple candies. It's sort of a staple of mine. We'll go with that. Alright, back to Magus. I think you can do this quite easily, buddy. Please take this thing out for me. Good job, dude. Good job. Good job. And since I'm kind of stuck there now, I kind of have to bring you right to there. But that's okay. Because I could breath attack high. And that might do something good for me. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Hey, not too bad. Not too shabby. I 
I just hope this doesn't turn into a war of attrition, though, because this looks like the amount of power he has that he can pack into his punches looks very, very devastating. Alright, so we can go ahead and punch. Do Golem Punch here. Man, I needed this. I really needed this too. I could bring you forward. Is there anything else that needs to come up from the back end? Well, I could bring you forward, then I could slide the Hydra around and maybe do Breath Attack on Dinadan instead, but he's gonna be hardened most of the time. This... Oh no, they... okay, so he's out of the spells. Okay, so there's the two hardens. There's no more hardened spells, so that's good, but there is heals that are still waiting to come, and they could still surround me somewhat, so. Let's just stay here for now. Do this. a stone please no nope. no stones no nothing nothing like that all right who are we going to protect I think there's a bunch of magic coming my way back to Magus could get hit hard this dragon could get hit hard uh, one, two, three, four. Looks like Kai might stay back and heal, but he might come forward too. I don't need to protect back and Magus. He's still going to get a self heal right now. Dragon might need it the most. But also, maybe even the Rock, because a Rock cannot get Rock cannot get healed from here. Yeah, let's go that way. Go that direction. Can I get a I cannot get a kill on this dragon? Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can, maybe I can. Just 96, 102, that's, that's good though, that's good. I enjoy that. Uh, well, a bite attack isn't going to kill it. I'm probably going to have to use my rock. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my rock right here. This is probably the best way to do it, you know? Kill it before they heal it. Good. One down. Two to go. Kinda needs a heal. Probably Clay Gollum a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about him. And he's close to topped off, but now the rock is the main 
focal point that they probably will beat on for a bit. So, he's still topped off, so I don't think I need any healing right now. I'd rather save it, because I know they're going to definitely keep pushing here. I do have things I can. Don't. I'd, I'd love to keep this Hydra right now, but... I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Six. Can we just at least get a hit? I don't care if it's crit. Great, thank you. Thank you very much, Hydra. Can a giant get in there? No, it cannot. Good. Okay, let's feel the wrath of your Thunderbolt, dude. Apparently that's, um... And Holy Word. I'll take Holy Word and Thunderbolt. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. Show me what you've got. I want to see it. 95. Okay, that's the only one he can do. Uh, that hurts my Hydra. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this guy too. I think this guy's next on the list to take care of. Take care of him, get him out of here, and we'll be good to go. Great. Great. Oh, the demon's gonna have a bad day. Demon might have a bad day. Hope she can survive this. <laughs> I hope he misses. I hope there's a good miss here. You get a good miss, then that's. Demon's not going to survive. Nope. Don't see it. <laughs> That's kind of sad. I was looking to get a high level one going here. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Oh man. I'm probably gonna have to focus on an area heal here. Because I think that's probably the most important thing now. And everybody's kind of bleeding out a little bit, but everybody's hurt. Oh man. Yeah, everybody's hurt. Oh, that's even worse. Looking grim. <laughs> this is looking really grim. So I have to kill this dra- I have to kill these two dragons in order to maybe hold my position. That's all I can think of. I kinda have to, you know? Oh man. Yeah, it's looking bad. Can we get through this? Can Team Trigger get through this? Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're pretty low. Yeah, we're still pretty low. 
Okay, so I've got a couple curse spells here. I could venom him up. I do have breath attack going down there, and then I could do breath attack, breath attack. I could munch on him with my hydra a little bit. That might take care of it. Which maybe could. Let's start off with the basic thing here. I don't think I'll be able to save this demon. Probably do a heal spell with Iria. <sighs> if I do, a, do two curses, heal spell with Iria, I'll see what else I have to hit this thing with. I might have something. I might have something. Hey, Dronzo. How you doing, dude? Greatest turn-based strategy RPG to exist. You are absolutely correct, dude. I really believe this is one of the best out there. It's what it's for chess-like strategy stuff. This is my favorite, and I've done LPs on all the Grand Edition. I'm done with all the basic LPs on Grand Edition, so now I'm playing Legend of Forcina. So yeah, man, I always enjoy this one. This is a great, great game. Okay, this is definitely a kill for the Gigas. Gigas can definitely do this. Easy peasy. Alright, let's heal up this uh, this demon here, because if we could keep her around, that would be awesome. Because I would love to have some Meteor Doom rocking the enemy left and right here and there. If I lose a Gigas, I'm still upset, but I'd rather have... I'd rather have like a Lilith going around dropping rocks. So, yeah. You cannot find an English version of the second game. Well, you are in luck, dude. Because I actually have that. It's on the uh, the Brigadine website that I built. And so there's a lot of people jumping in there. There's a lot of people talking in there. And it's in the link down below. You can actually check it out. It shows my times of when I go live and all that stuff. And so it's in there as a uh, patch. So if you log in there... You'll have to wait for a mod to accept you, though, so there is a few mods that do accept um, once you get in there. But once you get in there, you can get the uh, the ISO for the game that I put together. So it's the whole English patch for Grand Edition, uh, but it does not have subtitles because I didn't get the subtitles in there. So that's the only thing it doesn't have. But it has the movie animations in English, it has everything in English, and so it's a more westernized you know, version of it all. He doesn't have a spell, that's right. Oh, man. Um, what are we going to do with you? I think I'm going to... I don't know if I can handle another Genobolt. I don't think I can. Let's see here. So you could move in. You could move in, too do an attack with you you can move in but yeah man I've got a I've got a whole video showing that too if you want to go check it out it's in my brigandine extras playlist where I put a lot of extra brigandine uh, type content so in my brigandine extras I've got all the movie scenes for every single faction um, and uh, a bunch of other stuff too you know so I've been trying to help keep this game alive for the longest time and uh, so yeah I think I'm gonna have to move him. That might be the case. I don't know who to protect though either. Alright, I just protected you, I think. I think you still have protect on. And Oh man, yeah, he's really low. Okay, we're gonna heal up. I'm gonna have you protect this one. This one's gonna come up and attack. I'll probably have you do a little bit of a beatdown first. And then we shall. Yeah.
Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitch, you can. I'm alive on YouTube as well right now, so you can check out my YouTube channel, Twitch, and uh, all that stuff. So. Let's hope that this cuts him down just enough for a uh, breath attack to finish it off. Thanks for being here, dude. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Thanks very much. Oh, this is good enough. This is good enough. It's definitely good enough. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, Dustin, too. Thanks a lot, guys. That means a ton to me. I, I'm, I've been on YouTube for a long time. I'm, I've been trying to grow and uh, branch out and stuff. I've, I've been struggling. I have been struggling, but hopefully, you know. All right, so back to Magus does not look good there. Let's pull him out a little bit. Uh, I want to get away from the breath. No, he'll die anyways, so it's okay to go here. Yeah. Let's get over about here. I think I need an airy heal there. Oh boy. Oh boy! Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks, guys. Yeah, if you ever want to come by and talk on uh, YouTube or or Twitch, definitely go ahead. I don't mind having a conversation. I actually like having a conversation and talking about this game. So, there's plenty of other people here, too, that are really interested in it. Um, Alright, well, I think I need to stay here just to get this breath attack off. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. And then I think to probably keep the battle going, I might have to pull him back. Just because he looks way too weak right now to be frontlining anything. And let's do the breath attack first, and then we'll probably have a better idea as to go how to go about this. So, yeah, also for this channel too, for um, if you're a subscriber to my channel, uh, you can offer me a challenge. A reasonable challenge, but you can offer me a challenge, and I'll try to complete it. And once I complete it, get it done then you can offer me another one. So, Makuna's has got me on this crazy challenge of trying to take out a country within the year. So it's only like, what, seven months <laughs> I have to beat Carolion. And uh, I'm like right down to the bone as far as things are concerned. So it's, it's looking kind of tough. Um, I don't think I can get him unless I get this guy to go. He's level, or he's three, that's 18, that's 13. Ooh, not too hot, not too hot. All right, probably won't do a lot of damage going this way. I could get a kill here, but I do need to, uh, now I can't kill him. I thought I could definitely get a kill on him too. And that doesn't work. Nope, they're going to get to go, and they'll get to heal him up. I do have my airy heal, which is good, you know. I have an idea. You know what? Instead of all that, I think I'll pull back. Get ready for... Um, uh, the attack's truly random. Um... Usually it will. Um, I've tested this a few times. Usually it will be the same thing. But there are moments where if you do it multiple times, at some point, the attack could change to being something else. So it is a little bit set, but there are times it could be random. So that's what I've noticed, and that's what I've noticed playing Grand Edition. Now, I haven't played LOF in a while, so I can't totally say for there, but... That's that's my uh, that's my perspective on that. 
Um, I really want to kill this thing too. I could probably do it, breath attack and kill it, but I'm going to lose these two things. I'm pretty sure I'm going to, but I could make them run. And are you going to be low enough to heal? Yeah, you'll be on healing duty. Okay, let's just do it. I'm a little afraid of this going sideways, but let's just go ahead. Oh. The RNG is a little seated. I know what the translator basically uh, said before is that, like, especially for like attack percentages, uh, there is the basic percentage that you see when you play let's say, you know, you play Grand Edition and it tells you like 86%, that is absolutely what the percentage is, but then it adds another random integer that plus, minus, plus minuses that percentage a little bit, and then it could fluctuate. So you could have 99% chance and it could plus minus like 15 or something like that, and if it goes down, then you lose, and you're like, what? I lost at 99% chance. Well, uh, I th that's basically how he described it, so I'm going to take him at his word for that, you know? Um, what's more threatening right now? I think ranged actually is a little more threatening than a griffin at 12 hit points, so let's go this way. Let me know what you think, though, because, you know, my experiences could be probably different, you know? That's kind of what I was thinking when it, with its setting before the fight or something. So apologies had to dip out in hours. Supper happened. No, it's no no problem, Akuna. I know this is one of your favorites. So I'm actually glad to have you here. You know, this being probably your favorite country overall. So it's always nice to see people. I always like to have fun conversations about the game. It's sort of a relaxing time for me, just to get to play something I really enjoy and get to talk to other people that enjoy it too. So any conversation is good conversation here. You know. really say when it sets I have had to dig around code to really know but I'm not enough of a code person really do and that's a thing for me too Hakuna uh, trying to read the code here is like I don't know trying to read like random you know like if a baby was writing in the sand trying to understand the language there because it's like what the heck is it saying I don't even know because it, it is in a different language too it's not it's not in uh, it's not in English you know when I look at the code so I'm just a little perplexed, you know, as far as some of that goes. You can see that the give, that given a lot of games actually have weird things like that. Yeah. Attack damage up there. It's no left. Energy isn't exactly what it says it is at times. Yeah. Man, the demon could go down, Akuna. This is my level six demon here, and I can't. I gotta make some really tough calls here, you know. Really tough calls. That the RNG isn't exactly what it says it is. Yep, it's probably the case. The attack damage as well. Oh, throw me some luck, Akuna. Thank you. <laughs> throw me some luck there, because I can't let. I can't lose my demon right now. This thing is very valuable. Very, very valuable. You do a heal there. You're gonna heal the angel, and you're gonna you're gonna link the heal to the griffin, maybe. I hope. Are you? Heal the griffin at 12 hit points. It's fine. I don't care. It's still not enough to save him. It's definitely not enough to save him, you know. Brigadine is quite unique. My uncle let me borrow the game once, which is the only reason I got into it after they sold the game. I used I used the name Bagdamagus for D&D &D and others. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Do you imagine yourself a big strong man? Or are you a big strong guy? I don't know. It's funny in that the translator changed some things and he made it kind of funny in Grand Edition. You know, with um, with him meeting Kai, it was just the last moment when he meets Kai. He's like, nothing can compare to big muscles, you know. He's like doing that sort of thing. 
So Bag of Magus is a funny guy. I, I like the guy. He's funny. He's he's fun to have around. As it just pulls a result based on numbers, probably has a Madan particle. What's that, Hakuna? What's a Madan particle? Or integer, I should say, that probably fluxes the damage a little bit. So you're not you're you're not a big burly dude like uh, Bag of Magus. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was. You know, I, I, I probably should go and do the gym a little bit more and kind of work out in that sense. Might be a good thing for me. Could be. You know? He's 100% a player character, like 5,000%. Yeah, you know, it's weird. I've got I've got this new this new keyboard. I was like, oh, I got this new keyboard. It's really tiny, you know, and it wasn't too expensive either. But sometimes I'm typing things and it just randomly types random things. So yeah, that has some problems there. Um, <clears throat> okay. What to do here? I got a level seven rock. I got a level seven demon. Probably should level up both of those, or heal up both of those, and keep them to kind of topped off. That would probably be a good idea. Probably should poison Dinadan right now. He's susceptible to magic, and that seems to be all he's going to be susceptible to. Because even with 140 defense, he's still almost too powerful for me to take down. I just don't see it. Um, but I do have to kill some of these other guys, so... So many tough calls. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can uh, get Dinadan down to a reasonable level where they don't heal him, he goes in the front, and I crush him. Because that's what I have to do. That's very important. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if you can change it on uh, Twitch. I think you kind of can. I actually did change my name on YouTube. It was all together. It was Rasty Trigger, all together with the caps and the, you know, on the V and the T. But I was able to space it out. I'm like, oh, well, that makes more sense. I'll just go with that. So I ended up doing it like that. Okay, so I'll probably heal you up with you. Um, we're gonna have to go ahead and heal up this demon. I cannot lose this thing right now. I, I want to get some meteor dooms going, and then I'll be able to push through a lot, a lot better. Okay, so are you okay? I want to hit Dinadan something fierce, but... I guess we'll focus on monsters right now. So let's curse you up, and then I can get the Gigas up there. Probably. But yeah, what's your favorite country, dude? Let me know. I've got two favorite countries. One favorite leader. Or, you know, basic leader. And uh, everybody else is kind of around the same neutrality for me. I, I like a lot of the countries, actually. I, there's there's none that I hate. There's ones that I like less than possibly some of the others, but... Good, good gigas, good gigas. <laughs> America. <laughs> That's your favorite country? Well, that's a great country, dude. Totally. I kind of meant... Brigandine country, but... I totally get you. I get you. Totally get you, man. Okay, can I take out 190 with just a Hydra here? Maybe. Just maybe. Can I get around there? I can't even move in there. You know, I haven't done any breath attacks yet. This is probably a great opportunity for it. I could probably lower it all down again, you know? Fortunately, I'm not going to get a lot of hits on him that way. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> the only other thing I'm worried about is we're both 13 here. And due to that factor, he could heal him up at any random point. So... might have to pull him down 
just to get the kill on the dragon here. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what else do I have that's up there? Oh, I've got a rock up there. Nope, we're not, do we're not doing any attacks here. I gotta wait for possible breath attack. I always played as King Dress, so I guess that one. Carolion? Oh man, you haven't played in a while, dude. This is Escalio. Escalio! We're playing as Escalio right now, so that's who uh, King Drist works with. But it's okay. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. I'll throw you a bone, dude. I'll throw you a bone. Or maybe I should throw you a bag to Magus. Yeah, I'll throw you a bag to Magus. How about that? Oh, and uh, if you ever hear me say the bag man or the bag man, that's my description of Bag to Magus. I've got so many different descriptions about all the different characters in here. Uh, I've called Isfis Sissy Face. I've called um, making a, a mistake where you put Kai out in the front, uh, pulling a Kai. Uh, there's purple candies from Brigadine Grand Edition. Uh, if somebody's, you know, winding up to actually do something intelligent, I'll say you're getting your brain shoes on. You know, I've got all kinds of funny, weird quotes that I say. So if you ever hear me say stuff like this, it's, I've been doing it for years. <laughs> Almost a year. So I love, I love pulling out fun little things to talk about. And I just love to have fun with this game, you know? That's just me. I love doing fun things. This could be really bad, but... Uh, we're gonna get a kill. We'll, we'll get a kill here. Good, now I can finish this account. Cool, man. Yeah, Hakuna, you make a, you make a compelling argument. Drist is the leader of this country at the moment. 19! I got to 19. Yay! Yay, me! Oh, man, I'm gonna hit with another bolt again if I move in here. I'm gonna get hit. I don't think Magnus is gonna survive too well. He could die. That is, there is potential for that. Let's see here. Um, I didn't get to use you all that much yet, though. So, let's see if we can stone him, hopefully. I don't know, Hakuna. This battle looks super strong. Mmm. I was hoping for that. Okay. Give me your best shot, Ding Dan. Apparently is this. Yep. Thank you, come again. Well, here's hoping. Can I get a bone? I throw you a bag of magus? Nope. Nothing like that. Uh oh. Uh yeah, this could be really tough. Oh, good. Whew. Gotta miss. <laughs> Gotta miss. <laughs> All I brought were golems and giant scorpions. Yeah. I tried some of that. I know that agility is so high. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this army down. It's gonna this could look really, really bad for me actually. Because Kai could hit me with a Thunderbolt, and, uh, well, if Dinadan comes and attacks me too, that's probably it. Luckily, there was a Clay Golem to kill that was more important right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I get this thing out of the way? All right, um... He doesn't have anything left. I either go down heal Bag to Magus. Try to push around through that side. I've 
no good options here. I could probably get hit with one bolt attack, but I'm gonna need a dragon in the front to cover some of this stuff, you know? Oh yeah, thanks buddy. Yeah, there's um, one of the top moderators there that's there all the time. Is, uh, his name is Jake Armitage. He's been helping out with a lot of moderation and uh, accepting applicants, so you'll probably see him accept you, I'm thinking. Because he's usually the one who's like top dog there doing all that. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's go and do this. So yeah, there you'll find, it's basically like I'm trying to revitalize the whole Forcina.org that used to be there. That's no longer there and it's taken over by a, a Kickstarter that um, was supposed to be done a year ago. More than a year ago. And it's not going anywhere. So people funded it and no game has been brought up. So that's kind of a waste. So I, you know, wanted to... Put something cool in there so that's so that's there let's see you can handle that I don't think you can handle too much more though yeah more people are talking about different uh, codes they want to build and things like that and so there's some conversation going on with that, but there's tons of different conversation pieces in there you could jump into and talk about. Uh, so there's a lot of people in there. I think we have about 200 plus uh, subscribers in there right now. So it's it's a big it's a big pile of people that have jumped into it. So that's pretty good. You know, and so I'm usually on there every day. I'm usually saying something. You know, there's always something I can respond to. But this site won't get taken down like the other one. Because the other one was sort of paid for. This one doesn't necessarily have to be paid for. But if you don't, then you lose out on some extra little things that you can do. But I am actually paying for it to try to upkeep it. And, uh... Oh, man. I'm dead. I didn't know he could get in there so readily, but he did. I think I'm a goner. Uh-oh. I don't know, Hakuna. I might not make this challenge if I don't... If he dies. I might not be able to. Because I'm going to need some more knights to push. They might have to split up their forces, so I might be able to push in with uh, two leaders somewhere, but Bagdamagus might totally drop. You know, kick the bucket and all that. Yeah, there's a lot of people in there if, you know, if you want to jump in there and still, you know, because you like, you do like to chat, you know, textually more. I prefer to talk to people. That's why I love doing this, too. This is actually a lot of fun because I get to talk to people, you know, while I'm playing a game. So that's something I'm really interested in. Oh, are you going to throw me a bone? They threw me a bag of magus. I think they could have definitely Geno Bolt killed off bag of magus there. I'm thinking that's a possibility. Oh boy. Whew. This is a rough one. This is seriously a rough fight, I gotta say. Can I come out of this squeaky clean? Can I come out of this squeaky clean and not lose any monsters besides the clay golem, which I didn't even care for? I don't know. I know. I knew that was a little bit risky to put Magus out there like that, but I can't level him up too effectively if he's always in the back. He's just... he's not doing anything. He doesn't have any spells, either. He doesn't have a power spell. He has nothing. So if I can at least get him up to, you know, put him in some danger, get him up to the Avenger status, you know, then I can, you know, get him to be something good. And it, it 
it's hard and it's rough, but if I get him to Avenger, then he'll definitely frontline very easily. Can you do 145 on me with this giant? Anyways, doesn't matter. I'm going next, so I'm free to get out of there. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Dinadan is down here. He could get healed, but if I don't hit him anymore, he might not get weak, and I don't have enough to really hurt him too much. I can only really go after Kai, you know? But yeah, the fights here go for a while. Drones, they do. They really do. It's seriously... One of those things, these, these battles can last quite some time, but it's always satisfying if you can... Even if you lose, if you put a lot of effort into it, and you still came out somewhat a little bit ahead, you can still feel, you know, good. Um, yeah, well, it's hard to... Yeah, the thing is, it's hard to make an active form when the other one died. Here's what... Here's kind of the mentality with that. The other form got converted into a Kickstarter with something that never happened and the other one died. So nobody has a lot of faith in the form anymore. And so when I built my form, it slowly started to build and it's kind of slowly buildings too, but it's not, you know, you could see how there was some distrust with the, what happened previously. And so you're looking at a new one and you're thinking, oh, this one will die off too. Um, this one can't go anywhere. This one just won't get turned into anything at all. So it has a group pay too, so you can actually help group fund it if you want. Yeah, I think the other one had some problems with that, so. But anyways, I digress. Yeah, I know, I wish I had more, because he's got 99 intelligence, or 99 MP, I'm sorry. He's got 90 MP, he's got no magic. Grand Edition, he actually has a Fury spell. So you actually get something out of it. But otherwise, you know. Oh yeah, that's totally fine, you know. And this is the one that I made that... It, I've made some other ones in the past, but usually they were for clan games that I was in. Like for different like clan wars I was in for shooter games and all that. And uh, I just haven't done that. And so I sort of backed away. Let's see here. Could I get... Could I knock the lizard guy out? Probably. Let's go and... I could hit the Merman, but he's really not a big issue. It's just really the Lizard Man right now that's really the big issue. No, I don't see it as criticism at all. I'm just uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's definitely something that's starting to trickle in, getting a little more bigger. A lot of more people want to start talking in there, and so it's it's had a slow growth, but now it's kind of picking up. So I'm actually really happy with that. It's really nice. You know, that's something I want to do for long, for the longest time, and in the past I kept saying, well, I want to do something, you know, with Brigadine to get something cool and interesting going, and that was kind of what I was thinking about. But I had to kind of wait for the right time to do it. You know what? The Kai still has a Thunderbolt attack, so he's probably going to Thunderbolt me here. But I think I should still put the demon here in case I want to do a poison, you know? And you know, she needs to level up too. She really does. Let's get let's give her this kill. And then I could probably reposition this demon for probably something down here. Let's see how far we can pull the demon down. Oh, I wish I could get it down. A little bit further. Yeah, let's just do that. That'll be good. Yeah, dude. Dronzo, definitely go ahead and play the game again. Let me know your experience, too. You know, drop on by when I'm doing this. I'm live. I'm pretty much live every day of the week, um, starting at uh, starting at six till close to eight, maybe a little bit after eight. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have Banner Saga three, and that's my live review of that. And that game is really fun too. That game feels a lot like this, but 
maybe a little more like Front Mission 4, if I had to, you know, be a little more descriptive. Now, let's get down here to start working on Dinadan. That's more important. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. I can actually move out of the way here. I needed that so bad, too. Uh, run away! Okay, I'm still in the still in the blue there. Little Pixie's gonna have to go and help a little bit. That looks like it'll plug up that area a little bit. I probably need to stay here in order to keep that demon from dying. Too low to do any damage though, you know? Let's just start off some breath attacks. They'll probably knock out my Hydra though. Knock out my Hydra, and then what can you do? I gotta keep some pressure though. I have to keep some pressure. And if Dinadan can come out to do some serious attack that would get some get some injured, then I've got the then I've got the battle. Yes, 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 good. Okay, just wait there. You know what? I think the demon might be okay. It's really just going to get hit with a bolt attack. Probably, and maybe nothing more. Halo spell. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that sucks. They're gonna get the Hydra now. Tori Bash. I've never heard of that dude. It sounds interesting though. So what's that about? What's that about? <laughs> He's running away. No! <laughs> Turn-based fighter, technically? That's cool. I like this kind of stuff. That's that's the reason why I'm doing uh, Banner Saga 3. Because I saw a little bit of that, and it, it has the tactics that you use. Like, um, one of them is uh, Overwatch with one of your main archer characters. And if anybody walks within range, she instantly shoots them. You know? And if you use like a centaur to do a mule kick to push them, push the enemy around, technically that also counts as them moving too, so you can mule kick them, hit them, and if they're in range, she'll shoot them too. And if you have bleed damage on, I mean, the, the kind of tactics that you can pull off in there is like, wow, there's so much you can do. It's pretty cool, you know? But, uh, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. That's always fun. Um... Okay, so I could... Let's see, number two. Am I still in the blue? If I do this... Technically, yeah. I just have to guarantee this hit, though. Because I've got some dragons which could do it, but they could also miss, you know? And if they miss... I am screwed. <laughs> so let's go with the Ulster first. They add move and more interesting stuff each game. Note the fact that your HP is your HP is damage is also very interesting. It's, it makes it really tough because it basically makes that game that I'm you know playing the other two days. Uh, it basically makes that game uh, survival of the fittest because you have to 
definitely. Like, 100%. 100% of the time, you have to definitely... Um, make sure you're higher than there. Because if you're higher than there, your damage to them will be better. And the, so, the stronger you are, the weaker they'll be. And you just, like have that as your mentality pretty much the whole time because um, there's like a couple healers in there there's like a witch in there that can do some healing I think I think she heals willpower or something she was in one of the other segments that I was playing and she was on like she's going um, from a from Abarang up into you know where the where all the darkness and the evil is and so they're going with their own party and it gave me a party of a bunch of support which I was like I can't <laughs> There's, like, the whole party was filled with support, you know, and so they got quickly wiped out, and then I just learned a lesson right away. I gotta pick the team that I want, you know, and sometimes they'll give you a team you don't like, and you have to try to figure that out, but later on I was like, okay, I'm gonna formulate the team that I want, doesn't matter what they want to give me, because too much support for me, that's not how I play. I can't do it. It's just, it's just like there's not enough damage you know I need the way I play I need a balance I need support I need offense I need tanks I need heals I need it I need it all balanced in order to you know do that kind of stuff right and that's kind of how I play it so that's what I feel is important um, let us you know if you want to walk on by Dinadan I will I will happily trap you in here Could hit this thing, but I'm gonna be really low when I do. Let's go ahead and do that. I always enjoyed the aspect of Banner Saga because it makes you have to be more careful and discourages running directly at people and just trying to soak damage. Yeah, basically it's kind of like a real-time battle. Like, if you had a real-time battle, you don't want to send all your troops out in front like uh, what the British did way back when, when there was a Revolutionary War and then we had guerrilla warfare against them and we totally trumped them. You know, because they're all out in the open wearing their big red coats and stuff, and we're hiding in the forest shooting them with pistols. You know, it's like, that's one reason why they lost. That's one reason why we're not part of England anymore. You know, they didn't have the strategy, the techniques to work with to make, you know, it work. And so that's one reason why it's actually really interesting, because it t sort of turns, it sort of like breaks time up into pieces and it turns it into reality. That's why I love games like this. It's always fun to do, you know, to see how you can slow time down and see what happens at a, at a smaller segment of, of increments, you know? That's why, like, even at Front Mission 3, they have the AT time, the active time points, that you only have so much... Like, every move takes a certain amount of action points. And, uh, you know, the more action points it takes, the less opportunity you have to counterattack and all that stuff, because your move took so much longer to do in real time than something else. So... I've seen pictures and videos of Banner Saga, but I don't really know what I'm looking at. Uh, well, what it, I'll explain a little bit what's going on right now. I'm playing the third version, so if you still want to play the first two, it's still a good way to, to jump into it. And um, But most of the time you're moving through town with a, a bunch of group. You've got like a caravan and stuff. So it's, like, it's kind of like uh, Shining Force in that sense, where you have a caravan, you move your troops through there. And some people will come and join you, and some people will leave. And depending upon your choices, you could lose a lot of people, or you could gain more people based upon your own perspective of what you do. So it, it kind of turns it into real life in some senses. And so, like, that aspect alone is just... It's a, just a gem to see some stuff like that, you know? I think it's a pretty cool game. I I do. I you know I'd almost like to just go and do the you know some of the more original stuff for everybody and kind of showcase that a little bit. Oh, he's level four. I can't lose you. Ooh, I'm a, I'm in a pickle. I, I've got a lot of really low things here. I think we'll do. I think we'll do a double curse. We'll get rid of this Griffin and this thing, and I might be able to get rid of the merman too. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, 
I don't have curse anymore. Oh my gosh. You're just a little bit out. I need four more points. All right, let's start up with this. This will definitely work. I'm pretty sure this will work. Yeah, really, for the Banner Saga 3, it's the battle of this, the strategy in the battle is what really attracted me to want to play it, to want to give it a shot and try it out. Because that's really where I'm all into. <laughs> that's what I'm all into, so. Let's see, who else can we Venom? Not too many people here. You know what, if you guys are going to stick around, I'm going to get closer. Let's do that. Let's do that. But yeah, basically the game is uh, is pretty fun. You've got Varl, which are giants. They're big tanky characters. Uh, that cover four, you know, four spaces, like four human people spaces. And uh, then you got your regular characters that are only like one... I guess it, if you're looking at Lego blocks, it'd be like a one-by-one one peg or space or whatever. And uh, some of those are centaurs, some of those are humans. And you put them on a battlefield and you do attacks and your, your hit points are your strength. And that's... So your hit points and your strength are directly correlated. It's just that your defense has... you have another defensive spot where you have a certain amount of defense and all that. So you can tackle an enemy's defense so that you can cut into their hit points better. Or you can directly attack their attack and hit points so that they're weaker than you. So you have some options and you get abilities in there too. Oh, um, that's in the forms in the, uh, the Grand Edition section. So you'll see it in there, it says um, the ISO that I have. So that's where you would find it. Okay, we got rid of that. That's good. Probably gonna lose my dragon. I'm probably gonna lose some demons if I back away though. I'm at only at one. Oh man, he still needs to come in and do more damage. I can't. Excuse me, I cannot. What can I do with you? Well, that's 60. Oh man, oh man. Y'all are pretty good. The only problem is they cover most of the map. So you kind of like, you kind of like figure out how you can use them because they block each other. You know, you got to go around all the people like you can't like move through them like you can in this game and all that. So, and you know, man, I could try to kill him now, but if I miss, it's not going to be good. I'd rather have him do another attack. Hopefully he doesn't kill me in one shot. Let's move down one more. Let's set up for an attack. Uh, the Pixie I might have to use his defense. Okay, let's set you up right there. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys still have... No, you're out of magic. Oh, good. I can put you right in the front. I don't have to worry too much. Um, all right, that looks good. All right, let's do that. Okay, Elster. Uh, what are we gonna do, buddy? I'm only at 91. I can't defend this whole side here. They're, they're gonna get killed off. Oh, that's 170. Um, could 
try killing the giant. He's out. He's out. I might get a kill on the giant. This could work. If he gets a miss on me, then I get my other dragon to go in there and bam. I got the giant out. That'll be really good. Good for morale. Okay, can you miss please? Please miss. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He gotta miss. Okay, I know I'm getting a level off this, but this will also deplete some of their monster count, and that's kind of important. I think. Pretty sure that is. That might scare them. <laughs> I hope. You know, the funny thing is, too, the giants don't do the, uh, the man yell when they die. They do the monster. And even when I play, uh, yeah, guys, when I, when I play, um, uh, what was it? Ah, oh, I just totally, I can't think of what it is right now. I play this other game that's sort of similar. When I, when I think of it, I'll tell you, but. Okay, we're gonna wait. Gonna wait on Dinadan, and then once he does an attack, he gets counterattack. Then I'm gonna splash. Then I'm gonna jump all over him and I'm destroying. Or I uh, could push down here and then let him come through. He can only move one space, I think. I don't think he can move two. I hope he can. Or I hope he can. All right, let's just wait right there. Oh, good. Whew. He left. No, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my dragon. Oh well, I'll have to. Maybe an angel is good to get here. Yeah, probably. Angel might be good to get here. I don't know what everybody thinks. I, I might have some points for it. I think I had 15 more points there. So... Oh boy, I came out of this with minimal casualties. I lost... How many things did I lose? This is... Le this is... Legend of Forcina, Hakuna. It, nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely stronger with their attacks, I have to say that much. You know, blue beats red, red beats blue. Yeah, that's... Because you're watching a lot of my multiplayer too. Oh, and, uh... Dranas. I do multiplayer on Sunday nights with some other people that actually come by later on on Sunday nights and we play multiplayer. So we'll joke around, we'll joke around about all kinds of stuff. Uh, and we play against each other. You know, so I'm playing as the Empire right now. My ally is playing as a Scalio, and the two enemies are Norgard and Carleon. So that's what we do Sunday nights if you want to come by and watch some of that. So that is a thing. That is definitely a thing. All right, let's heal our broken, uh, our broken backs here. Back to Magus. Thousand experience points, and I can have. An Avenger. I can have an Avenger. This will be good. Did you leave me any things? No, didn't leave me nothing. I know it's LOF, but Mermen tend to hit like garbage, as far as I remember. At least them hitting harder than GE. Hmm. He has nothing left here, dude. Look at this. There's nothing left there. One, one Triton. And there's nothing here. Uh, well, technically no, it's just uh, a way I've done it. It's sort of like a, uh, a team viewer type thing. And then like, I, I grant them certain uh, abilities to control the controller, you know, on my, sis on my system. So they come to me to play the game because there is no two player controller. There's no way to set up a server for it. Just, it's not possible. Uh, so, they come here, I've been doing multiplayer for two years plus with uh, Raging Paul, 
and uh, we'll still be able to do more multiplayer in the future, so we're going to always have fun with that, you know? Multiplayer is a lot of fun. I actually like uh, hanging around with, you know, some of these knuckleheads and we make a lot of jokes and stuff. And so, yeah, it's always fun. We're just, we're just there to have fun and relax, you know? You know, an angel would be great, but my army is so tiny. I might need some small things. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, well, I really can't do a lot there. Let's put some rocks on this team and see if I can divvy this up a little bit more. No, 45, yep. <laughs> yeah, we'd have to, some dark magic. Yeah, the dark web. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's basically local play for an instance. I got my brothers to play it again. We can play on the same computer. Yes, yes you can. It's all past the controller style that you can do. Um, and if you are at home, what I would also suggest to you too is you can get uh, one of the dual link USB ports and you have to make sure that it's sending out, it's sending and receiving information um, through the same port. So I plug in two controllers into one USB port that sends it out and it has the same exact information that both controllers can do. The only problem is if Paul's using the controller and then I'm using controller, Paul can press a button when, you know, I would press a button. So Paul could mess me up that way. But yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's how, that's, that's how I view life in the world, I guess. Uh, yeah, I gotta keep pushing here, but I, I, okay, um, one second, I just, I have to, I have to figure out how to organize this, because I really have to, you know, I know that this isn't going to be so hard, but I have to maximize as much as possible, because this is the start of the game, it's very important, you know, to make sure I have everything working right. Um, perfect, okay, okay, that works there, let's put this up here, that's perfect, great. All right, let's do. Uh... Yeah, dude, if you have any suggest, if you have any questions or anything, definitely come by here. I can help you out with a lot of things. I've played the game for years. Um, I've been playing the multiplayer for a long time. Uh, I don't know when I'll have an opponent beat me yet, but I haven't lost um, a war. I don't think I've ever lost a war yet, but. At some point it'll happen. Somebody will end up beating me. Uh, so, I usually root for the underdog, but I've kind of been the top dog for multiplayer. So, yay, yay me. Um, so 2.30 I gotta get here. But um, everybody does try. Everybody tries their best to, you know, play as hard as they can. And uh, it's always a good time. Oh, that's right, there's no angels here. I was thinking about Hervery. I have unicorns though, this is great. This is even better. I could make a great team out of this. Back to Magus, we'll get all the heals he needs in the back row. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, this looks great. So Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get uh let's get at least three unicorn here. This'll this'll really make this team shine. When you play MTG unbeatable, because you build great decks. <laughs> yeah, we're all playing for fun. You know, we're all playing to have a good time. Oh, I don't have hardly any mana. Hey, Nene, how you doing? Leonia's done with. Oh no, I never even went after Leonia. I'm going after Carrion. I gotta complete this challenge Akuna gave me. It's crazy. I gotta kill a country within the year. So that basically means once that turns to 216. So, oh yeah, you missed the whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. You didn't miss the whole thing. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been done uh, since last week. So uh, once I got to start. 
you know, pushing in there and all that. Yeah, Bag of Magus would be riding three unicorns, dude. You've got it right on the head. You nailed it. You nailed it. You totally nailed it, man. All right. We're giving up territory, but uh, we'll have to come back and find a way out. I will get some knights to supplement and do some stuff with, so that's okay. And where's my extra knights? They're still on quest. This is crazy. I sent them on quest like two two months ago, and they're all still questing. I need them back now. Lickety split. Lickety split. Ooh, he moved away. Oh, that's good. What's here? Oh, he moved here. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, if I get an angel, you know, just come to, you know, just definitely remind me. But thanks for uh, coming by here, Nene. How's, how's things going with you? I still need more monsters. I don't... I don't have the cash to buy a lot more. I might have to only buy unicorns right now. Which isn't so bad, but not really what I was expecting. Okay, Teeth has nothing at all. Not a single thing. Uh, yeah, that sexy lightning crossbow is waiting to, uh, to purge me down here. This is going to be scary. So... Yeah, I'm a little worried, just a little bit. And uh, I had Big Maddie Gukas give me a challenge to only use ghouls for Driss team. So yeah, there's that too. So I've got a couple challenges that are pretty tough. All right, let's move more to Baynoc. That looks good. I don't know what to do with Teeth. I probably should just leave him here for now. Um, Hmm. He might reorganize, and I hope he does, but we'll see. I don't know at all. Oh, you're unemployed as of today? Lumberyard laid off half their employees. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's really tough. I hate that when it happens. That's happened to me uh, a few different times. And that's always tough, because then you gotta go and you gotta do all your... You know, you, you gotta start a new application and do all this and stuff. You know, if you had a little bit of preparation time, but even still, that's, that's really terrible. It really sucks. Sorry to hear that. You know, I know. That's a tough thing. I've got, I've got some stuff here, though, so I'd probably use that somewhere. Um, I guess I'll give it to Teeth. But yeah, Nene. I feel your pain there. That's happened to me before. <sighs> like, what I've done in the past, later on, is, you know, I'd always have, like, a resume made up in case something happens, because it's really hard to rely on a, a job now. You know, when I was younger, everybody always told you, oh, you just stay at a job for like 20, 30 years and you'll be good. And then, you know, those jobs, not everybody gets to stay at those jobs. Because times change and, you know, people get laid off and stuff. That's always terrible. So, all right, let's see what we can get here. All I can get is a unicorn. Four unicorns. Well, yeah, Nene, nay, then, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Name you after an angel when I get one. But I am bleeding. My mana is, uh, running dry here. All I can really get is unicorns for this team, so... It'll be a magical team of a... Happy, fun, berserker dude riding four unicorns. So this will look like the apocalypse here. Back to Magus riding the uh, the four horses and the apocalypse or something maybe I don't know maybe 
I can't afford anything else. It's 280 and I've got 220 left. There's like nothing. And, and like getting something for teeth? I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I could, but I'm going to put them over here. And if the umpire doesn't attack me, then I can easily grab these other monsters that are sitting here. And then he gets a couple free monsters, you know? <laughs> Peg can ride three, but not four. Okay. Yep. He's looking fabulous with all those wonderful horses. <laughs> yeah, you make a point there. You do. Definitely do. Alright, well, if I can't get the angel anyways, Nay Nay, the next episode on Friday, I'll dedicate that to you and uh, hopefully it'll give you some luck to uh, get a job again. I did this before for Big Maddie in a way, you know, he was going through some stuff and so I dedicated one of the battles to Big Maddie and it was a big struggle because he was going through some stuff, but we got through it and uh, Big Maddie's getting better. So I don't know if my Irish luck is spilling out and helping people. But if it is, I hope it is. So, I hope it does, you know. Good wishes, good wishes. You know, that's always the thing. It is a zombie horde, dude. That's one of the challenges that I got. Big Maddie gave me that challenge. Go with only ghouls for Driss team. So, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be something. Alright, so I got everything set. I think everything's good to go. Yup. Alright, so I have to attack one or the other. I think if I attack high, he might stay. If I attack Dinadan, they definitely will stay. The only problem is that here, Sequest being attacked from the east is a little tough. He might just leave. He could end up just leaving, though. Really depends, you know? Ghouls are very weak. <laughs> They're super weak. Uh, let's look at this 172. Uh, compared to a scout, scout's better. Even a scout at level 3 is better than a ghoul. Uh, let's check out pixies. Better than the pixie, though. But pixies aren't meant for fighting. So, yeah. They're, they're kind of stupid weak. They're pretty bad. Same strength as Kai. Well, Kai's a little better. <laughs> Kai's a little better on strength. Oh, man. Okay, so if I want to come into here, coming across the bridge is going to be tough. Coming across the water is going to be harder. Maybe. So I probably should attack up to here first. I can create some distortion here where the Empire might want to come and attack New Omechia because New Omechia is going to have to go down to defend Baden Hill. So because of that, the Empire might actually move into New Omechia a little bit more versus me it's just a chance it's not a guarantee because I've already got a couple I'll, I'll have a couple free castles for them to grab but if I give them more opportunity I don't know it could go really good it could go really bad either way it's gonna be really it's, I don't have a lot of good calls I really don't but after this I'll probably attack this and then um yeah, and then I'm going to have to do a dual strike here. You know. So we go on a sequest. Alright, so we do this. Let's save her up real quick, just to make sure everything is good, because the last battle was really tough. This battle should be cake. I should be able to walk all over Kai, no problem at all. Because I don't think he's going to stay. If he stays, he'll be insane. This would be a little insane if he wanted to stay. You know? <laughs> I remember well because they are. Yes. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> you get the if you get the pixie to do lightning strike, it's way better than any ghoul hit. That's for sure. You know. Okay, two fifteen eight. Wait, I saved up on two fifteen eight. Look at that again. I'm two fifteen seven. Yeah, I don't remember that. I just remember it saving at the same exact month. But okay, I'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Let's cross our fingers and hope that nothing else gets destroyed. The Empire is coming into there. Uh-oh. That looks bad. They don't get much better when they go... Up in class either. The main strength of their latest class of vampire. It's Lord Vampire's Necro Rebirth. But in here though, Hukuna, Lord Vampires can be pretty strong. I've actually seen it where somebody attacked me and they got minus negative damage. And I gained hit points from them attacking me and then I attacked them and sucked back hit points. It was crazy. I was like, what is this? I remember this long ago and a vampire did it. And I was like, what is going on here? I didn't imagine that that could happen. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, or I was playing so much Brigandine that I'm losing my mind, or it's a real thing. But you take your pick there. I think it was a real thing, you know? Doesn't a pixie crit basically calling down thunder and loads damage to enemy? Well, in, uh, in Grand Edition, they do. Um, if they are a fairy, then they will critical charm... Well, they'll charm you. Yeah, they'll charm you. Yeah, that's what they'll do, Dronzo. You will be charmed. You know, one of the challenges I had in the past, someone uh, dared me to... Or one of the challenges I had was to charm an enemy with a pixie head. And eventually I was able to do this. So I was able to complete like almost... I think I completed all my challenges in the past. With with the other LPs that I did. Oh good. Thank you. Thank you for leaving, buddy. Oh, look at this. That's a, li that's a little trolly. 182 for MP. I am one short of Holy Word. One short. I mean, sure, if they leave... If they roll, leave me be, but that's not exactly common. No, it's not really all that common, you know. It's kind of true. Alright, they're going. Let's slap and protect. Just for funsies. Okay, uh, nobody else can do anything. Let's just end that. You can't even do anything. All you got is unicorns. So, all right, we'll see you in the next battle, Biarte. I know it's going to be a, a, a Kale and whatever. Halo myself, <laughs> in case he stays. I could do another Halo and get even more off that. 14! Oh, I'm not totally finished yet. I will be soon, though. Alright, pack your bag, Shast, you're going away. Good. Okay, that's all great. This is the only worrying part now. I hope everything else goes well. We'll see. Oh, man. They did take out a castle. I am cut off. But they didn't take out the other one. So they shot the sheriff, but they didn't shoot the deputy. Oh, here comes the sandstone thing. Grind, 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 grind. Get some strength. Ooh, actually this is good for Daffy. Hey, I finally get the grinding, you know, uh, quest for somebody that really actually needs it. I 
think the fast forward button on this particular game is a lot faster. Oh, it's it's Cort oh, it's Cortina. I'm sorry, but I can't let you stay now. Get. Also, wow, the path to Bainock to sequest might actually be worse from the NE from Baden Hill. Yeah, it's possible. It definitely is possible. Ouch, what are you doing, you pervert? Nobody wants to work in a crappy theater like this anyways. You'll see someday I'll become a big star and you'll be begging me to dance here. Remember that. Pretending? Oh, did I fool you too? Dancer must be able to act as well, you know? You must have overheard the conversation. This is great. Now I get Cortina. I'll get uh, Janfurter, and I think Billcock? But Billcock could be fine. I could level up Billcock and make him uh, something good. Okay, let's get Cortina on our team. Dancer who saved Forcina. Well, you might actually be, but unfortunately I cannot put you up against Amechus because you will get one-shotted. That is the thing. That does happen. <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> Lucia's quest. Oh no, she didn't go on the other quest though. She was just... The first thing she did was the quest with helping out the boy, but she didn't even get to do anything here. Okay, well, she went on a different type of quest. Okay, I might have to send this team against Zemeckis' crew, which is, uh... Well, that could actually work, I guess. That could kind of work, you know. There's nothing really there. I don't know why I shouldn't. Okay, they got six and eight monsters there. Three and four. Oh, we're gonna clean this up so well. What do you think? Do you, do you think I should do this tonight and just finish it up? I don't know. Okay, Victoria's looking pretty good. Actually, Victoria and Daffy going against that with Lucia. But Lucia still needs a quest. That's my only problem. You know, I could do... I could do this. Victoria, Daffy, and Cortana. Cortina. I don't know why I'm saying Cortana. Cortana is the program that's on your PC you can never get rid of. Oh, why am I mixing this up? What is wrong with me tonight? <laughs> okay, you got a Wyvern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Let's do that. You can keep questing a little bit. There's a lot of ends NPC interaction in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if all the interactions haven't been found. Billcock and Jan are one of those Carolians and huh, I should immediately go on the quest again. Came up. Oh, okay. So you're gonna you're gonna drop out? Yeah, I've been going for like two hours and a half here, so usually I go for close to two hours, but uh, tonight was kind of fun. And uh Got to hang out with everybody and had a good time. So, yeah, it's been a pretty good night. Um, as far as other monsters are concerned, I don't think I need to restock here. So, although this is a little bit low, um, it could definitely take out Kai's team. But yeah, thanks for being here, Kuna. I'll see you. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you on Friday. You know, if you do want to stop by for the Banner Saga 3, come on by tomorrow. You know, I'll be up for that. I'll be on for that too, so. But, um, this team looks good enough to take whatever's there out. I need to focus on getting a team to go fight Mechie Boy over here. So, let's check this out. Do I have 40, 95, and 40? That's 135. Well, if you want to sneak a peek sometimes, go right ahead. I don't mind. <laughs> I 
I don't think, like, if you watch it the whole thing through, you'll see most of the story, but I think if you play the game, there's so many different scenarios. And I think I went down the darker scenario. So, I don't know. I don't know if I could ruin the entire game, but my scenario might. But if you do want to see it, I will be there. Uh, what does this team have? Not enough tanks. So we need some more tanks for this team, that's for sure. Need some tanks. Ooh, this looks like a good tank right here. Let's see, 135, that's 75. Dragon would be good. Okay, let's see what else we can get after this, then I'll... And I'll just set up the attacks, and I think I'm going to close it out for today. But um, I had a pretty good day. I think next time, Huku, um, Nene, would vote that next one for you. So that uh, hopefully that, that helps give you some luck. And uh, hope you get a, a good job to replace the one you just... One he just lost, so yeah. Let's see, I got 60, 60 points there. I have plenty of healers here, that's for sure. 60 points here. Sixty points. A griffin or a wyvern? Maybe a griffin. This looks nice. Some variety here. Got Dragon, Wyvern, Griffin, Rock. A couple mini tanks here. Some stuff that could easily die, you know, to help me survive. Get a new equipment though. No new equipment. Items? Nope, no items. Okay, what else? Uh, yeah, that's right. We need to give him some stuff. I am so grateful he did not attack me here. Alright, teeth. I don't know what to do with you, man. I don't have a clue. They moved around, so they don't see me as a big of a threat, so they're not gonna come after me too hard. That's pretty good. They might still hit me, though, but... I don't know, who knows. Alright, so I, I still have some mana left. I got plus 759. That's enough. Let's let's put something on Bag of Magus' team here. So what is this? 40, 30, 70. So I can get a rock if I can get a rock here, but I think I can only really get hydras here. Okay, so seven I can get a rock here. I can't I don't even have the points for it. I'll get it as a lizard man. Uh I'd rather have a rock. I'll just save it for now. Let, okay, let's just save that, and that's fine. Okay, nobody should quest right now. Maybe Lucia could quest. Probably could afford doing that. Okay, I can, I can afford Lucia quest. What did you guys do? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. But I should try it anyways. So otherwise, uh, they're going to crush my team quite readily. And they just moved there, so this is, uh, this is gonna be a very hard battle. I'll just say that much, because Ghidorah's here, and Ghidorah could crush almost any of my knights quite easily. But I do have some magic, I do have Eye Slash in the back, so that might save me. 
But even then, this is still gonna be tough. So I've got a good amount of monsters here. They have no healers, so if I get something low enough, they'll run. But I gotta be very careful there. I don't think my Driss team is going to handle that team all that well, because I've got too many ghouls there. Okay, so that's what's set. Oh, the queen move there gonna be really rough. Really, really rough. Okay, so we have some stuff set. I don't think I can move out from Aston right now, though. And, yeah. So I'm gonna wait for this uh, for Friday, and, you know, wanna jump back in here Friday, same time. I'll be starting up. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. You know, that would help me out a lot. Uh, if you wanna subscribe, you wanna follow, That'd be awesome. I'd love to see um, you know people come here and talk about Brigadine. I always like to have a fun, enjoyable conversation, you know, about the game. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, I'll see you tomorrow for some uh, Banner Saga Three. If you want to come by to see some of that review, or I'll see you Friday for this, or I'll see you uh, Sunday night for multiplayer. So uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Same Brigadine time. Same Brigadine channel. Have a good night, everybody.